This evening, some businesses are changing their game plan to keep their doors open during the statewide shutdown. Way 31's Ashley Carter joins us live now from one business that's expanded its services to help its staff and customers. Ashley? Right now, I'm holding a grocery pickup menu from Baumhauer's. They said that since they've started offering this menu, a lot of people have taken advantage of it, and they hope it's enough to keep their business open. Have a little pickup area out here. That's pretty cool. Gina Castillo said before the statewide shutdown, she would go to Baumhauer's at least once a month. Now she's taking advantage of their curbside pickup. It's good for the workers to still be getting paid and still being able to work, as well as being healthy and staying, you know, six feet away from customers and wearing masks. Castillo told me she works at an essential business, but knows how hard it has been for restaurants during this time. She said she's happy to see Baumhauer's now has a grocery menu for customers to order from. The menu offers burgers, chicken breasts, whole milk, eggs, and alcoholic beverages like wine and beer. The general manager told me since they've been offering this service, a lot of customers have taken advantage of it. He said when the coronavirus pandemic started, their sales dropped about 70%. He said the grocery pickup menu is not only a way to keep them in business, but a way to also help some people out who may be afraid to go out to the grocery stores. Castillo said she hopes the grocery menu helps the place she loves to eat at stay in business. I've heard a lot of business, businesses have already gone bankrupt or out of business and they've lost a lot of employees, so you know it might be harder for them to open up. Baumhauer's is also offering a family style menu that offers um, family style meals for customers. Employees told me that usually this parking lot is packed, so they're taking that as a good sign that they will be able to get through this hard time. Live in Huntsville, Ashley Carter, Way 31 News.